Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to the basement as I am trying to get through season three of Bridgerton. This is episode seven, the pen penultimate or pentultimate. I never remember and I'm probably never going to remember. But the most important thing we need to know now is Colin has found out. Has he really? Well, okay, he's going to find out. <laughs> right now he's like, you? That Penelope is Lady Whistled Down. How much does the shit hit the fan and for how long? That's it, really. How much and for how long are we going to be under the <gasps> Penelope, how dare you? I did find it fascinating how many of you would say, hell no, I would not give up the whistle down for anything or anybody. It is mine. She is mine. I will publish as her forever. Found that interesting. Hmm. I wonder if we all were alive in that time period with the choices we have and the options and opportunity in society if you would make the same choice hmm that would be interesting that's pretty much the only thing i can remember from last episode other stuff was happening francesca's disappointed and 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 uh, benedict is confused and mom's upset uh, yeah, that's pretty much it though. Okay, so let's just get to it. We're gonna get into the big cozy blanket. I'm still working on that bottle of Prosecco. I think, I think I will save some and I'll just finish this whole last season out with the Rosé Prosecco. Let me know what you're drinking of you as well because some of y'all are drinking delightfully fabulous things that you're letting me know about. Love it for you. Um, if you haven't already, hit subscribe. And also please remember full episode watch along will be available on Patreon, or actually I should say, it's already on Patreon. It usually posts a day or two before these uh, short reactions are. So check it out there. Okay, y'all, it's flashing in front of my eyes. So if you're ready, I'm ready, and <laughs> let's get to it. You, a lady whistled down. Call it. Uh, Do not try to deny it. I heard you. I don't think she was going to. You knew exactly what you were doing because it was you who printed tonight. I don't print tonight's edition. Oh, but every other one. Is it not you who has been Lady Whistled Down all along? Oh, he's crying. He is crying. I knew something was wrong. Stupidly, I blamed myself as if, as if I was undeserving of your love. But you are the one that is at fault. I will never forgive you. <gasps> well, we know he does. So the question becomes, how? How? Does she get herself out of this pickle? Hmm. Here comes the stormy skies and the wind. Stormy skies and wind. Okay, are there gonna be two issues or just the one? Dearest gentle reader. Oh, it's the crescent of one. That revealing my true identity would stifle me. What did she find to write about for like four pages? I fear no reproach, as now you know I write to you from one of the most reputable houses in Mayfair. Uh. Certainly no house is perfect. So yeah, he didn't question like, why is Take Cressida, example, Bridgerton what house, is Cressida? With its shining reputation, this author must question what really goes on behind closed doors. But does love excuse why several of her children have had rather rushed engagements? <laughs> Perhaps the family confuses love with lust. Wow! Wow! That there are so very many Bridgeton children. Has one ever wondered why so many? This author certainly has. Perhaps because a few of them may be of dubious <gasps> parentage. Whoa! Whistledown is here. See, we already have it, Mrs. Wilson. Another whistle down. So she's using the same printer? Dearest gentle reader, it seems someone has been impersonating me. This author is not interested in judging what one does out of desperation. I always tell the truth, and I cannot tolerate a lie. Why is Lady Danbury laughing? <laughs> what is in it? If she were me, surely she would have reported on the great debt Lord Blackburn refused to repay to Lord Sampson this week. Oh. Oh. 
at the fact that Mrs. Newham unceremoniously dismissed her maid yesterday for the simple act of asking for a day off. Oh, oh, oh! I say this all to remind you that this author, the true Lady Whistledown, is always paying attention. Amidst her own chaos, Penelope is always watching. Until then, you are not to leave this room. Is he sending his wife too? Oh, I thought he was going to send his wife to Wales as well. That would be something. Yours truly. Oh, Cressida, you were trying. You were trying, Pumpkin, with all you had. Okay, Penelope. Now what? And I love this dress with the solid matte top and the skirt is lovely. It's a good thing this Cowper's whistle down spectacle has been settled. Oh, and every eye in the ton focused on you. Mm. Penelope, you should say something. Okay, what am I guessing? What am I saying? She hasn't said nothing to nobody. I never thought I would say this, but I'm so glad to see you printing again. Hello, he knows. Oh, and he followed me last night. How was his condition? Mm, not good. Hello, I do not know what to do. I cannot help you with this, Ben. I am so grateful for everything you've done for me, but already I feel in the middle between you and Colin. Perhaps I always have been. That is not true. I have thoughts. I have thoughts. You are the truest friend I have ever known, Elle. Until, <laughs> until. I wish you luck. Eloise could do a little something. The gall of that cowper shit. <laughs> you know, uh, something you and your brother have in common is a very kind urge to constantly help others. <laughs> Will Eloise be able to stay out of it if Colin confronts her? Follow me. <laughs> mm -hmm. I did not know until last year, and I was too brokenhearted to speak of it. Her sheet has been fair this year, certainly sharp and biting, but she has not written anything withering. Are you forgetting what she wrote about me at the start of the season? Of course, that was not so good. <laughs> Have you already forgiven her? Mm. I want to. Do you think you can? They both. I think you should consider yourself. Need to talk to her. Uncommonly lucky. You have never been in love. Talk to her. Talk to her. A really good, honest conversation. <laughs> Jeez. <gasps> he's there. Wait, he's there? He's there. In here for the wedding breakfast. Do you think it too small? They're both there. Well, let me show you how we'll lay it out. They are there. In this capacity, I should say they're there in this capacity. Are you going to call off the wedding? I am a man of honor. And we will. Intimate. Perhaps that was another part of your planned entrapment. What will this marriage be? That mm. depends. Are you going to stop publishing? I do not know. Let us get through this wedding, <sighs> then we will decide what this marriage will be. I can't get my lips any more pinched. Um, it is good. To see Mr. Bridgerton here today. Yes. An engaged couple should want to spend time together before their wedding, should they not? I assure you, Lady Bridgerton, I do not know the reason. I do not either. Ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think that's one of my most favorite moments this whole season. You had a caller while you were out. Please, let me explain. Tilly. That is it. <laughs> oh, and he went like that. <laughs> I had meant to 
speak to you about my situation with Paul first privately. But then we were caught, as it were. It wasn't as if you were being very discreet about it. Mr. Suarez and I have a relationship not unlike the one I share with you. Friendly, casual, occasionally intimate. Occasionally? There are more than occasionally. I have known men like Mr. Suarez, but I myself have never felt tempted before. Until. Until. There is so much in society that is unnatural. But a feeling between two people, whatever their sex, is the most natural thing in the world. If you did not feel anything with Mr. Suarez, then let us, you and I, continue on our own. But you should know, my staff are very discreet. You hope? Lord Anderson has come to call. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, Oh, yes, Violet, your house is such a mess. <laughs> you should see the disaster I have upstairs. So many boxes. Francesca is keeping her distance from me at the moment. <laughs> did I tell you that she and Lord Kilmartin have been secretly engaged? Oh, I did not hear. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. You know, Aristotle says, patience is bitter, but its fruit is sweet. Violet's garden is a flutter. Do you think perhaps the two of us could... Could garden? Explore something together? I am not uninterested in exploration. But I will not know if I'm ready for that until after the affairs are in order. Especially because I'm not the only one whose affairs need ordering. <gasps> oh! Oh, Violet. Wow. <laughs> that was slick. Oh, it's Penel oh, my God. We received a letter back from Aunt Joanna. She doesn't even want you. I imagine she'll be here in a week or two. There is nothing I can do. Your father has threatened to send me to the countryside as well. Why did we have to write such cruel things about the Bridgetons, Mama? She's jealous. Jealous! The Bridgertons so often feature in Whistledown that it would have been strange not to mention them. It certainly didn't hurt bringing them down a peg. Perhaps I was wrong to turn on Eloise. She is the one person who's ever shown me true friendship. And where is she to comfort you now? Well, please show up at the door. Well, maybe not, because I forgot Cressida did write shitty things about her. To know that in this world, it is every person for themselves, especially amongst women. And look where it has gotten you. Look where it's gotten you. <laughs> Colin, you better not go revel. No, our mother does not not like you. I shall handle this. Lord Kilmartin, our mother adores you. Our mother also has an obsession with great love stories. What should he do? Give the man some practical advice. <sighs> Just mm. so something bold. Mm -hmm. Declare yourself. Throw rocks. Throw rocks at Francesca's <laughs> window tonight. <laughs> bold. <laughs> well, if I am to be bold, I shall need some time to think about it. Oh. <laughs> Colin found out. Oh dear. He does not know about your involvement. Oh, I love how she has a bottle ready to go. I do like her. I'm about to be married to the man I love and I do not know that I'm worthy of him. You're a girl who did not know her own power. But I tried giving it up before we found out and I felt like I was losing a part of myself. There's no such thing as true love without first embracing your true self. Is that a version of you can't love someone else unless you love yourself? 
You know what I mean. RuPaul it. If you can't love yourself, how are you gonna love somebody else? That's, I think it is. <gasps> what is this? Benedict. He's gonna find something. And he walks. Everyone's walking out at night. What are you doing out here? I, I don't... No, in fact, do not answer that. It is clear I found you in the midst of some secret dealings. And what secret dealings have I found you in the midst of? All alone the night before our wedding? Hmm. What hmm. right do you have to ask me that? <laughs> After all the secrets you have kept, all of the things... I like how she's on the step so they can be eye level. What were you thinking when you wrote about Eloise? I was trying to protect her. I realize now how misguided I was. And when you wrote about Miss Thompson? I was protecting you. Or do you not respect me enough? It is clear you do not after what you have written about me this year. Oh, Penn, please go off on him. Please go off on him. That I simply wanted the Colin I know back. Not this stoic man you returned as, acting as if you care for no one and need nothing. I should have told you myself there are so many things I should have done myself and now with the confidence you've helped me find this year I'm finally able to. So then you do not need Whistledown anymore? I do not need to hide behind Whistledown anymore but I am not saying there is not any value in it. Do you know what is most humiliating? You have published before I was. Well, as if I were to be this great writer. <laughs> you have been a published writer, renowned across Mayfair. <laughs> you have been foolish. Colin, I can take care of myself. Then what good am I to you? Colin, I love you. I love you. This isn't solving anything? Stay still, she knows how to hide in the shadows. <laughs> oh, that's right, get in the carriage, get more privacy. I shall see you tomorrow. <gasps> still no conversation. I did not think I would see you until tomorrow. Your mother called us in early. Thought you might want some marital advice. Yes, because their engagement ran so smoothly. Well, I guess the engagement did. The courtship, another story. What is going on with you and Penelope? All is well between us. The smell of fermented fruit emanating from your person would indicate... I, I do not wish to unburden myself to you two with your perfect marriage. Oh, you think our marriage is perfect? Is it not? <laughs> <laughs> but it took us time to get here. Time to get down the aisle, certainly. Surely there is a reason Penelope has been so dear to you for so long then you cannot let one mistake define your entire relationship. There's a little more than one. I drank a whole bottle before my wedding, the second wedding. And it was deeply celebratory. Second wedding. <laughs> Three raw eggs in the morning. I can't believe Anthony is wearing all the coat and waistcoat this late at night waiting for his brother to return. <sighs> Was your visitor not announced to you, Lady Danbury? It is not your footman's <laughs> fault. I slipped in. The night you escaped, I had no concept of what you were running from. I was 10 years old. <gasps> Wait! Wait! And I thought if I could get you to stay a little longer, perhaps I could give myself time to prove myself to you. He was 10. I've heard you make comments disparaging the girl you once were, but you were resolute. Even I'm trying to listen. I'm trying to listen. The, 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 I have wished so many times that I had stood up to him. She's been blaming him for giving her up when he was 10 years old. <laughs> because I was not only in awe of you, I was afraid of you. Perhaps I have subconsciously taken notes from our father. You are nothing like him. Except the cane. <laughs> what has happened here? Your Majesty, I turned my ankle chasing after a delivery boy. 
Let's see. Oh, they're trying to claim the prize. And have drawn the conclusion that perhaps it's Lady Whistledown is not a lady at all. Fair. I'm wondering if Colin's going to take the blame, but I don't, maybe not. What did the queen realize? Unless she thinks Colin's, Colin is the <laughs> whistle down. Everyone's in, all the women are in pastels. It's lovely and spring-like. I love weddings. He's been to quite a few. We're really gonna get, we're gonna get yellow. Now Penelope, if they're playing yellow at your wedding, you should maybe wear yellow. Although she did wear yellow. She did wear yellow. She go and make it down the aisle. Oh, oh, we got a nod. We got the consent. <laughs> Look at that train. I'm always iffy on trains, but that's a lovely train. Oh, Eloise. Dearly beloved. <laughs> I would like to have a Bridgerton wedding where strife is not somehow surrounding it. With this ring. I thee wed. With my body, I thee worship. And by the... Oh, yeah, she does. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Too tense to feel happy for them. <laughs> Cornish hens is that. <laughs> Congratulations, Penelope. You do make an exceptionally fine bride. <gasps> oh. And now that mom's gone, what would you really like to say? Would you like to say how you really feel now? It is how I really feel. Thank you. I saw you crying at the ceremony. Simply tears at losing another friend to marriage. Or maybe it was dust. Which brother or sister do you like the best? Gregory, <laughs> Jamie. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> but I know there is room enough in your heart for the rest of us. The friendship you have with Penelope is a lucky thing, as is the one you have with Colin. <clears throat> a lot of dust in here, too. Are you going to take your own advice? Right the second. <laughs> I'm going to leave my brother's wedding to go have a threesome. Mm. <gasps> Crescent of running away? Where are you going to go? With what means? Your tea, miss. I need your help. With what means are you going to run away? We shall certainly try to be there. Yes, of course. Oh, they threw a banger of a ball and now everybody wants to bang with them. Interesting. When was your last letter from Edwina? There was one waiting when we returned. She writes that her new husband is not only a reader, but has cultivated in her a love for the outdoors. I'm so envious. You cannot imagine how charming our town in India is. In fact, I should like to see it soon. Before our child come. Well, the journey takes months. Yeah, and if we go now, we will have time to prepare for the birth. Yeah. <laughs> what about your mother? She would be missing the birth of her grandchild. That is true. Our child will always be a Bridgerton, but I should like them to know that they are a Sharma as well. Mother will understand that. And we will return. I'm confused at how far Kate is along because she went from no pregnant to boom in a nanosecond. And Sydney, who's running the estate? Benedict's gonna wring your neck. Penelope, 
You enjoying yourself? Mm. Very much. Mm. Thank you for allowing me to work it out for myself. Well, this wedding couldn't plan itself. I've not had time to meddle. Whatever it is, I know you will resolve it. The important part is that you're married now. <laughs> That's all that matters. <laughs> I've spent so long clinging to walls like this. I, I do not wish to do that any longer. When do you propose we go? Perhaps. Your house? Our house? To the centre. Oh, the room. And perhaps we could dance. It is a wedding breakfast. The, the sun is still out. I realise that. But I should like to dance with my husband in the light of day. They've done all sorts of things during the light of day. This is a nice cutaway. Do it! Oh, do it, sir! Come on. Would you like to dance? Yes. Yes. I do not mean it. Why not? But perhaps we should both be more bold in declaring ourselves. Lady Bridgerton. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, Lord Anderson, I am glad you have joined us. Dad's. All our affairs in order. And you? Almost. I do believe my affairs are very nearly coming together as well. He oversteps. Oh, I think we move <laughs> quite beautifully. No, not them. Our family is happy and together. Hi, ah, Anthony, Anthony, Anthony. What are you going to do if you're away to India, sir? Can't watch them all the time. Her Majesty the Queen. Ooh. Oh. 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 Everyone who is not a Bridgerton may go. <laughs> Wedding's over. Wedding is over. Now. Penelope. <laughs> Someone in this room has something to hide, and I shall not leave until they come forward come on, and Violet. reveal themselves. Confess. Are they going to pull an I am Spartacus the other half of the side of the room? It is I. I bear the secret. <laughs> but I love Lord Kilmartin, and I plan to marry him. <laughs> Your Majesty's blessing, of course. <laughs> Your romantic sensibilities have been obvious for some time. Wait, and Lady Danbury gets to stay there? Wait, I missed that part. I speak of Whistledown. I know she is in this room. Surely she suspected what Miss Cowper intended to publish. That is what roused her from her hiding place. And why? Clearly because she is one of you. I assure you, if such a thing were happening in my home, I would know of it. And I would have put a stop to it a long time ago. Oh, Anthony. Ah, oh, Anthony. Ah, oh, Anthony. Hold your tongue another night. I shall loosen it soon enough. Oh. Colin, where are you going? Colin, where are you going? I did not know if it would help or hurt your family if I were to speak. I'm glad you stayed silent, but surely this is a signal of the right path forward. That it is time for you to give up your Colin. Huh? She will find you eventually. <laughs> they need to have a conversation about why the Colin is there. Do you know what it is like? have nowhere in the world you can truly be yourself. You cannot possibly know because you are not a woman. I am Whistledown. I will not change that. 
I cannot accept that. Then you should have had this discussion before. I shall sleep on the sofa tonight. Mm. Oh God, Benedict. Jesus, how long did it take you to get over there? And you've just been sitting? It was a wedding breakfast. He has been there all Mr. day. <laughs> I've been thinking about your offer. And? Well. You're, I'm there. <laughs> right in the open doorway. Scandalous. We have rats. And we have rats. Okay. Cressida, this is your runaway gown. Evening, Mom. Theo! 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 I'm here for my payment. For the whistle down that was printed here last week? No whistle downs were printed here last week. All the weeks before that. Fine. You're not her, though. My boss at the last place that I worked used to print for her. Said that she was a redhead, though. Oh. Hmm. What else did he tell you? <sighs> I'm gonna have to finish this tonight, aren't I? <laughs> so this episode drove me nuts it drove me nuts but it did what it's supposed to do which is make you want to watch the next one immediately <laughs> and just to see how it ends god i'm gonna have to stay up late tonight to watch it to see how it ends aren't i oh was not on the plan it was not on the plan however we had a whole lot of oh uh, mm, uh, okay the wedding was lovely visually, but the tension and the unspokenness, I couldn't enjoy it. And how could they enjoy it with the cloud of chaos invading the mental space? They need another wedding. They're gonna need another wedding. They're just gonna need another wedding. Why? Why are we not getting our... <laughs> We still have one episode to go. It may still be forthcoming. Why aren't we getting at least Eloise or Colin sit down with Penelope? Why Whistledown was what it was. You are marrying this person. <laughs> this person is coming into your family, supposedly forever in some capacity, and neither of you have had a sit down. Because I know who Benedict ends up with, this whole Tilly triangle thingy. Huh. Huh. Anthony deciding, let's up and go to India. <laughs> let's have our baby in India. Is that to explain where they are next season? <laughs> They're in India. <laughs> While Benedict is left to um, still manage the properties. Again, ah, oh, the life of leisure, the life of leisure. And are we setting up the Mondriches for something bigger in season four? They feel like filler. They feel as, they're filler, aren't they? But all of this to say is, fuck it, I think I'm gonna have to stay up late tonight and watch the last one, okay? Okay, okay, so I don't know how far apart they will be in releasing, cause there's a crap ton out there. I had to balance the House of Dragons <laughs> with Bridgerton. And then we've got the boys. <laughs> as well as Black Sails and Lucifer. There's a lot happening. Okay, okay. So I'm going to refresh my drink. Breathe. Um, you're gonna go get something to drink as well. And then you're gonna come back and you're gonna watch the next video of the queue because we have to finish this out together. 
Yes, yes. Okay. So thank you again so much, y'all. And until next time, which is not much longer.